pizza time. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Welcome guys, Kainfo here. I know what you're thinking. What the heck was that? Watching memes on a build video. Yes, we don't like taking things seriously here. Smash that like, subscribe button and hit all notifications so my videos won't disappear from your notifications and you can see more memes, more OP and cheese builds. Anyway, let's get into the video. This is the critical build damage video, the most overpowered rounds per fire, bullets per fire that, are, that is remnant from the ashes. If you don't have the DLC, then you want to have this machine pistol, the fusion rifle. Um, you will get the rings and the charm, but you won't have these weapons. However, you can instead swap for the Chicago type rider. You can use the assault rifle. However, the RPS on this one is not as good. Or you can use the beam rifle, which is insane as well. Um, however, the most overpowered ones are the ones from the DLC. You can switch this one for the submachine gun, which is actually really, really good. I find myself swapping this weapon with the submachine gun because the magazine, it's, um, the RPS is not as great as this one, but the magazine size is better. So you can deal with multiple enemies and, you know, when you put yourself in um, just dumb situations where you just rush through everything and not take cover. And... The Chicago Type Rider, 80, bu 80 bullets, there's nothing to talk about that one. The melee weapon is up to you, I just found out this, this one on the DLC. This one won't increase your critical uh, hit chance on your weapons, but it will increase your critical on the melee. So I find myself like once every two swings, I do like double 2.5 the damage. And that's another one of the things that I want to explain. Critical damage, you deal like twice or 2.5 the damage that you would um, do uh, once you see the, you know, the normal gray numbers. So this is the whole focus of this build. However, when you hit headshots or weak spots, um, not meaning that the, headshot, the headshots are weak spots, because some enemies have the weak spots on their ass, legs, back. So the head the 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 weak spot it's multiplied also by crit so you will deal a lot of damage when you hit those uh weak spot um uh, damage uh, i mean we weak spots as well radiant armor you need this re-enroll it as many times so uh Yaesha, so you can get this and um so you can buy this from the merchant and you need to do a quest. Everything that you need, uh, show it on this build. I'm going to leave the link in the description on how to get them. So if you want to watch those links and those other um, guides and you want to come back here and, uh, you know, this is the this is everything you need to see here. Um, however, I won't be explaining everything on this video because it will take forever, right? So critical chance increased um, and stacks up to 10 times for 3 seconds. So pretty much you reload, you, you, you keep your momentum going to get this critical hit chance increased. And by the traits, by the everything, like everything increases so bad, like, I mean, so good. All right, guys, before we continue, a quick ad break from our sponsor today, Citify. I'm really excited to show you this, guys, uh, since I've been using the software for quite some time. Um, during my free time, I like mixing house and techno for personal use. This software is completely legal and it lets you download uh, music from Spotify or Apple Music or Amazon or Netflix, pretty much. You preserve the looseless quality. Uh, they have fast beats conversions, and this is how it works. You have your Spotify playlist right here. You just click a button, you drag and drop your playlist, boom, it starts downloading everything directly, and you can change the quality to the highest one, which is the 320 gigabytes per second. You can also convert it to WAV. These are the most used and highest quality uh it'll sound like four times better than a normal one so if you're into audio i highly recommend to use the software is really simple and yeah so if you're interested in that go ahead and check it out certified.com now let's get back into the video gunsling charm 
reload speed 20%, increase fire uh, rate speed by 15. You can swap this with the um, twisted idle if you want to lower your weight and do more smooth the rolls than the heavy rolls. The only problem being that as soon as you reload, you have to keep shooting if you want to keep the momentum with this. Like, there's no hesitation or defeat. Defeat with the creep. The Volring Loop, we have a 6% chance dealing 4 times the damage. Since you're gonna have a lot of crits, well, um, the chances are increased, of course. And going straight to the point, like, I just pretty much load the gun like 3 or 4 times, and like on the third time that I reload and start spraying, like, I see the boss HP like going nuts, like, pretty much to the toilet, and the enemies dying, like, in one second that's what this thing does braided thorns you need this like a hundred percent need this this is if you are killing the enemies um increases your crit chance of slaying an enemy and if you're um there are some bosses that have enemies so if you start killing little minions and then hitting the boss then you will increase your chances however you can swap these rings for other rings braided thorns i always use it um Depending on the boss, I may switch this, so I'm gonna give you the other four ring options that you have. You have the Akari Warband, dodging increases your crit chance, information is there. This one increases your weak, uh, your crit chance, but disables the weak spot, so the red numbers, you won't be able to see them anymore. Another one that you can use for this build is the Heart Seeker. I never use this, not even for enemies, for the bosses it doesn't work, because there's not gonna be... Uh, the boss is gonna be aggressive all the time, of course. This one, like, the enemies have to be non-aggressive. And for Nightmare, like, it doesn't work as well because the enemies will spot you right away. And another one here that I never use is the one for Ring of Mantis. It increases your, increases your crit chance. The problem being, you won't, like, you actually have to stand still and not move. I just don't like it, personally. Um, this is the whole build for crit. In the traits, you're gonna need exploiter for weak spot damage increase. You're gonna need um, catalyst, executioner, handling, um, mind's eye, and uh, king slayer, critical damage. That's pretty much it. The rest is just up to you. You want to level up everything to max level or to get more HP stamina, right? But yeah, this is the critical build.